I would summarize my experience here as one of great productivity. But from the moment I got here, like it was like all of these blocks that I had to getting started writing, to doing my project that I've been, it's been percolating in my head for so long, but what, from the moment I got here, I actually was able to like break through the writer's block and just get to work. And it just felt amazing. It really, it felt empowering for me to be able to have the time and space to really focus on only that one project was like, now I feel like I can leave the residency with something that I've created, first of all, but also with a, a new way of living my everyday life, where now I feel empowered to make to be able to make time and space for my writing and for my other creative projects. Um, space and time that I, I wouldn't have made prior to coming here. Like I have a different way of prioritizing. It's good because it's so fulfilling to be able to, to say, hey, look, I made this. And to be given the opportunity to actually work on it with nothing else in, bothering, distracting me, it was the, it was a huge blessing. There's a really great natural beauty here that, you know, like, it's just like rolling verdant hills and plains and, and you can just see and, and vineyards and you just, you know, just going along in the country, you can just see, like when you imagine what Spain would be like, you know, like from stories you hear or whatever, like just, I'm American, you know, but wherever you're coming from the world, I guess, like whatever cliches you've heard or stereotypes you've heard about Spain, and you imagine like these little towns, and it's just idyllic. It's like, you're like, yep, yeah, that's kind of what you imagine Spain to be like. <laughs> it's just like, you know, orange trees and peach trees and vineyards and crimson poppies everywhere and wheat fields and it's just just the natural beauty is, is I, I was surprised actually and it has been a, a really nice respite from because i'm trying to work and work you know i'm trying to get as much done while i'm here as possible i really feel this drive but to be able to go out to the countryside from time to time and and take a break from all of that in that way was to be in nature uh, a really good way for me to take a break from this like overwhelming sense of gotta get it done gotta go gotta do it you know which was also a good feeling but it's like you need the both you know you need the respite so that you can rest so that you can then have the energy to keep producing and so i found that the it balances itself out really well here. If you're on the fence and you're scared about really being in tune with your own creativity, I mean, I think that all of us, the reason that we are blocked with our creativity, whether it's writing or art, you know, painting or anything, you know, fashion, like if we're feeling blocked and we're not experiencing that like really awesome sense of like being in the flow, when you're making something and you're channeling your, I guess, your like divine creativity and you're in the flow like of the moment, you know, like that is the most incredible feeling. But it takes, we all have so much shame and fear that we're not good enough. And oh, my project, that project sucks and it's just not gonna be good enough so I shouldn't even try. And I think that that is the, the wrong approach because if you don't try then you definitely won't know you know and when you have the time and space to actually be in that flow a lot of those walls break down and so i think that any way that you can open up the doors to a time and space for yourself to be able to gift yourself that so that you can channel your creativity is is one of the biggest gifts you could give yourself. So um, I think that there's a lot of people who don't 
who are creative, who don't believe that they are due to whatever experiences they've had in their lives. And I think that once you get a taste for, you know, like writing, like if you like to write and then you just don't, you know, like once you get a taste for getting back into it, it's so enriching and inspiring. And it's just so important for like a holistic, evolved life, you know, like we never stop growing spiritually and we will always have growing pains. And so it's just an important, it, you know, it's always scary, but then it's exhilarating at the same time. And so I think that for me, the Flatlands Artist Residency has truly been a boon uh, and I think a stepping stone to furthering my creative goals. Um, and I, I don't know where I'd be without it. <laughs>